tell you where the fish are. Get in there. Ooh, that's a nice fish. Yeah, yeah man. Bam. 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 Hey everybody, Chris Schaefer with Podsky Outdoors coming to you from the great state of West Virginia. We're here in Mountaineer country today doing a little trout fishing. We're out here with Potsky Balls of Fire Salmon Eggs and we're fishing on the Schaefer's Fork. Some people call it the Cheat River as well. We're near the area of Bemis. Now they stock this place every single week during the month of March, April, and May, and then sporadically during other times of the year. It gets a ton of trout, but it also gets a ton of fishing pressure. We're going to show you how to come down here with Potsky Balls of Fire Salmon Eggs and catch trout even when the pressure is high. Gold label. Hooked up. That's nice a rainbow nice on. Trout too. Found the gold label balls of fire. You might want to net that boy. Get his net. Just get his net. And bombed the drift all the way across the river in this back pocket and picked up this nice rainbow. He's probably about, oh, I don't know, 12, 14 inches, somewhere in there. He's a pretty guy. Got some pretty colors to him. That was on the gold label balls of fire underneath the float. Had me caught up in that rock there for a bit, but we got him. Let's get a few more. You know, today we fished a lot of different water. The stream, uh, it varies, you know. There's a lot of, uh, some stretches on it are uh, fast and have nice pocket water behind boulders and that's where those trout are hanging out. And uh, some of it's deep tail out water and others just nice slow holes, you know. Um, we did a couple different methods. We float fished and we bottom bounced. Float fishing proved to be the most productive method today as it uh, allowed us to fish all those holes effectively. Where there's boulders, there's often trout hiding behind them. I'd cast just upstream of the boulder, let it sweep behind the boulder, pull it right behind the boulder, let my line fall in it, and uh, a lot of the times those trout would be hanging right in there. Yeah, we were uh, searching for holes on the river today and covering a lot of water, and we came across this beautiful cascade. It was awesome. The, both the top and bottom part yielded fish, and it was a good structure. Um, at the top part, the water pooled up above it, and there was a nice hole just above it, and uh, we pulled quite a few fish out of that. Then the bottom part was a little bit of white water, but there were some real nice pockets in there behind boulders, and there were some trout hanging in those, and that was pretty fun. The water was moving, and uh, it was fast. So was, they're only you know 12 to 15 inch trout, but on average, and uh, but they're still fun in that fast water and on light action rods. There's just a pile of rainbows out here. Oh, there's a pile of them out there. They're loving it.
beautiful fish. Some better colors on that one too. Hey guys, I'm gonna show you a little bit about what we've been doing today. These are some of my favorite eggs I've been using. We got the Potsky Natural Deluxe. They've been doing really well. Um, the Potsky Pink Shrimp Egg has actually been producing quite a few fish. And then the good old Yellow Jackets. We, those are an oldie but a goodie. They're still producing fish. Um, them's my three go-to colors on this creek we've been fishing today. Uh, we've been small presentations. We got real small hooks. Um, I believe I've been running a, this is a 14. It's just a nymph hook is all it is. And a lot of people call them egg hooks. They're, they're just like a nymph hook. You can find them in your fly tying section if you can't find them anywhere else. Um, we just thread that, we, we, we just pierce the egg, roll it right up on there, just like that right there. And that's all you need. Run that blow light float and they're just gobbling them up. They love them. We're doing a little fishing today. Uh, we're about an hour outside of Elkins, West Virginia, uh, in an area that the West Virginia Division of Natural Resources stocks almost every week during the busy season. And they have to do so because all these streams around here uh, have a real uh, large number of anglers that target the fish here. And with uh, six fish allowed to be kept per day per angler, uh, it can be get fished out pretty quick. Uh, what's also pretty cool is the, the locals, um, you'll see them on a Thursday or on a Friday if the, if the river has not been stocked yet. Uh, you'll see them standing on their porches, hanging out and uh, waiting for the stocking truck. So today, uh, we were hanging out with the locals, uh, learning a little bit about the area, and of course, right about one o'clock, uh, and they said he'd be here at either one o'clock or he wasn't coming, so about 105, the um, fishing game truck pulled in uh, and started stalking the river, and you'll see that they, they do two kinds of stalking. They actually drive through people's backyards, and as they're driving through the backyards, they will uh, you know, basically stop, get some nets, drop them in there and, and pull fish and they actually throw them off the bank. Uh, there's no area that they can actually drop down here and actually stock the river like they do in many other places. So uh, the other thing that you'll see them do is they pull the truck right up to the bridge uh, and they will throw fish right off the top of the bridge and oddly enough, while you think that would hurt the fish, doesn't affect them at all. Within five minutes they're biting and uh, already on people's stringers. There you got him. Yeah, boy. XXL Chrome. It's a nice fish too, huh, Kyle? Maybe your BFF will throw you the net. BFF? We're not high school girls. That's Best friend fishing. That's a nice job right there. That's a nice rainbow trout right there. 